they're outside on the trampoline. What's up, you guys? We did one big tenderloin. We did one in the oven for what? What did we set it on? 400. 400 for how long? Two and, Two and a half hours. Then here we got the air fryer. Which I think the air fryer looks better. It's got like that crust on it. What was it, like 400 degrees on what? Two hours as well? Oh, two hours, okay. Well, the one I had in the oven, I had the, had it wrapped with foil mm. for two hours. Oh, okay. And then I took the foil off and let it cook for a minute. So, let's see. So that's the oven, and when this got cut, it broke down. I was telling my wife it broke down like chopped pork, like pulled pork. Mm, that's good, and it is come out more like your pork chop. And then here goes your crust. Let's just be your pork belly, huh? it down with some nature seasoning adobo and olive oil rub that bad boy down poke holes all in it mm-hmm yeah we did try to do the rotisserie that was too heavy yeah um, one minute all right so I'm back y'all um Gonna do a little quick eating, eating little thing, you know what I'm saying? Don't mind that. Just got done uh, cleaning up a good bit of stuff, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing a lot of working. No spooky, go away. I'm gonna have my pork chop with some yum yum sauce. Yeah, because you know, it's pretty good on everything. I think they specifically use it on sushi sometimes. Uh, There are kids in the background. My nephew and my youngest one are playing on the trampoline. I'll try to dim it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So welcome everybody. Mm -hmm. well, homeless in America, I subscribe to you, my friend. New subscriber. Welcome. Thank you. Mm. It's good to know that we got these channels that go around and explore and let you actually see what we assume we know, you know what I mean? But don't really get to see it as much because our lives are so busy, you know? Um, there was a guy that I knew. My friend and um, I seen him walking down the road the other day. Yesterday, we all have our times. He's having his time right now. He's going through something. He's fighting addiction. Um, uh, there's the rotisserie. Put a little bit of that yum yum sauce on it. Got that thick boy. Yeah. Oop, that drip. There he goes. Ugh. I seen them might have to, I know the deal, you know. So 
I debated on it, but I had a feeling to have a feeling I need to give. Talked to him for a second, asked him how he was doing. He said, oh, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing all right. How about you? He said, like, you still down at the bottom? I was like, yep. Yeah. He said, like, you doing good? I was like, I appreciate it, man. I said, you. I said, you keep working. Keep working at it. I was like, you'll get there. I said, it may seem like I'm blessed. I got a lot. I am. But, you know, I'm working for it. There you go. And I handed him a $10 bill. And I was like, I'll get you something to eat. I'll get you something. You know what I mean? Mm. I was like, I'll get you something to eat. I was like, maybe that would be a way of showing him that somebody that doesn't communicate, somebody that doesn't talk to him all the time, um, acknowledges him. I knows, I knows he can do better, and try to give him a little bit of money to help out with something. I know ten dollars isn't much, but I ain't looking too good. I ain't just got out of jail. And I was like, I could have been like. <clears throat> Giving this man ten dollars. It's my son's birthday weekend. I can get him that extra ten dollars or whatnot. But something came over me to where I felt generous to do that. I'm sorry, I just see that little bit more gray here than over here. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm hoping because I could be judgmental, you know. I could be like, you know, could gave him that money. He gonna remember. If he does take that money and go and do something that he's addicted to on it, there's gonna come a point in time that where he's gonna acknowledge that and you know, he's gonna it's gonna hit him. All right, he's gonna be like, man, might not be tomorrow. Might not be the next day. But I do believe if he's coming across something that he wants, he's going to think about him. You know, I really wanted that, but instead I, I was stupid and did this. And my homeboy helped me out with some money. I could have got that. <clears throat> if not, I will. I tried. It's the only thing you can do. Mm -hmm. He still got his senses though. He's just respectful, smart guy, but he just that stuff's bad, man. That, that stuff's bad. It can get a hold of you and make you do a lot of stupid things. If you want to know a little bit more what I'm talking about, meth, ice. See a lot of people around there on it, you know. That's just crazy because I've seen, you know. By all means, I know I ain't perfect. I remember back in the day, I used to, you know, smoke and didn't think about other bills or anything like that until the last minute, thinking I had it and it put me in a hole, but it's not as bad as that. <clears throat> I've seen a lot of people lose nice things. You know? It's scary.
Where y'all is at? What's y'all's worst drug that's killing everybody? I'm interested in that. Like, what's the most popular? I notice, I don't know, I haven't been out much, but I notice shrooms have been a big thing. been in that circle of life before. Mm. Being the provider of that. But I still have a lot of friends, a lot of homies, you know, that are still in that division. And I just, I stay away from it. But you know, I will see them every once in a while at a Walmart, something like that, you know? That's crazy. I uh, got a phone call last night that um, my nephews I say mm, my sister's ex-boyfriend, which they were going to get married, but they were split up at the time, but I'm pretty sure if they would have got back together, they would have, if not, you know, I don't know, but, <clears throat> he was in that circle of life that I was talking about, being a provider, and, uh, two guys took his life, murdered him, um, and last night we got a phone call that they found his mother uh, over an overdose of something. I'm not too sure. So, you know, I had to talk to the nephew. He seems okay about it, you know. But as long as you keep yourself around positivity, you know, hurts, hurts from love, you know, from families, but as long as you got somebody positive around you and not, you know, I could be like a, a bad individual and be like, oh, well, you know, if she wasn't so greedy, you know, she'd still be here. She really loved you and wanted to be your grandmother and all that, you know, that ain't the case. We all fight in our battles. And some battles are harder to fight than others, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's pretty much what we're going through. Sorry the video's been such rambling. Um, you know, just taste this part ten along the differences. Um... I want to say welcome and thank you to all the new subscribers. I appreciate y'all. Nothing but love. I wish blessings upon everybody. It's a Sunday. If you woke up this morning, you're blessed and you're worth it 100. So with that in mind, if there's somebody you ain't talked to in a long time. And, and you miss them or something, they'll call them. Say, hey, they don't want to be like that. It's just, hey, at least you know you tried. You know where you stand at. Y'all hold it down, all right?